Tamaya was a deeply contemplative woman from a young age. Even in her tender years, her words and actions revealed a wisdom far beyond her age. As the years passed, Tamaya's yearning for enlightenment grew stronger, a burning desire to unravel the truth of her existence and to understand the profound nature of her being. At the age of 25, her longing reached a pinnacle, propelling her on an unwavering quest for enlightenment. Tamaya embarked on a spiritual journey across the vast lands of India in search of a wise master who could help her achieve her goal. Tamaya traveled far and wide, visiting ancient temples, seeking the counsel of renowned sages, and immersing herself in sacred rituals in her pursuit of wisdom. Her journey led her to the mighty Mount Kailash, where people told of a master named Padma. It was here that she discovered an age-old cave, hidden amidst the ethereal beauty of nature. Intrigued and filled with anticipation, Tamaya cautiously stepped into the sacred space, her eyes falling upon an aged sage. Clad in simple robes, the master exuded an air of tranquility and wisdom that instantly mesmerized Tamaya. Feeling a deep resonance in her spirit, she approached him, ready to receive the wisdom she had sought for so long. That day Tamaya simply sat in the presence of the master without disturbing him and meditated next to him. The next day, Tamaya made an offering of food to him. Master Padma came out of his meditative state and listened attentively to the quest that had brought her to his presence. After a short silence, the Master Padma began to share his teachings. An enlightened person, he uttered softly, is one who has grasped the essence of who they truly are. This understanding is realized through the gradual realization of what you are not. There is a perceiver and an object of perception. Everything that you perceive is an object of perception. Everything that you perceive is not you. If you perceive something, it shows that you are separated from the object of perception. Every aspect of ourselves that we perceive as me, whether it is our physical body, our thoughts, or our emotions, is experienced by us. However, the fact that we can experience something implies that there is a separation between the experiencer and the experience itself. Our true self is not limited to these subjective experiences and is beyond the realms of the physical, mental, and emotional aspects of our being. Tamaya, engrossed in the Master's teachings, pondered over his words. In the quest for enlightenment, the Master continued, it is crucial to realize that everything that comes and goes in life cannot define one's true self. Thoughts, emotions, and all transient experiences may arise and fade away, but they do not represent the essence of one's being. The Master Padma further expounded that the human body is merely a vessel in which the true self resides. He pointed out that individuals who had lost limbs or were physically challenged still maintained their intrinsic identity. Thus, he emphasized that one's true self extends beyond the physical body. Tamaya meditated on the Master's words for months, and the Master continued to guide her towards the truth. Master said, By creating a distance between yourself and your mind, you begin to realize that you are not the mind. The person you think you are is a compilation of thoughts, memories, habits, and inclinations. Once this realization dawns upon you, you can transcend the limitations and illusions that your mind imposes. Tamaya plunged into a journey of self-exploration, separating herself from the incessant chatter of her mind. She delved into moments of deep silence, observing the ceaseless parade of thoughts without attachment. With time, Tamaya grew detached from the identification with her thoughts and emotions. She discovered that her true essence lay beyond the transient and ever-changing nature of the mind. This realization brought a profound sense of liberation. 
a taste of enlightenment that she had long sought. Through this inner transformation, Temaya began to comprehend the eternal nature of her being, one that embraced all facets of existence while remaining untouched by their impermanence. Enlightenment was no longer a distant dream, but an intimate reality shimmering within her very core. Your own self-realization is the greatest service you can render the world. Ramana Maharshi Enlightenment can be understood as the ultimate awakening to one's true nature, a state of profound understanding, liberation, and transcendence. Knowing others is wisdom. Knowing the self is enlightenment. Lozy Enlightenment is knowing thyself. We often believe that we truly know who we are. Our bodies, minds, names, professions, characters, inclinations, achievements and sufferings. But is that truly the essence of our being? Throughout history, countless sages and teachings have suggested that there exists something far greater than these identifications something that transcends the limitations of our physical bodies and minds. This understanding goes beyond mere intellectual knowledge. It necessitates the direct experiential knowledge of oneself through the dissolution of the ego. The true value of a human being can be found in the degree to which he has attained liberation from the self. Albert Einstein each individual's path to enlightenment is unique and personal. However, many paths incorporate practices like meditation, mindfulness, self-inquiry, and surrendering. These practices assist in quieting the mind, cultivating present moment awareness, and unraveling deeply ingrained patterns of conditioning. They pave the way for spiritual growth and the attainment of higher states of consciousness. Enlightenment often begins with a spiritual awakening, an experience that radically shifts one's perception of reality. It is characterized by a deepening awareness of the interconnectedness of all things and a dissolution of egoic identifications. Through this process of self-realization, individuals come to recognize their true nature as pure consciousness beyond the limitations of the physical body and the conditioned mind. Throughout ancient times, numerous methods have emerged to attain inner realization and enlightenment. One such path is the practice of self-inquiry, which was introduced to the world by Ramana Maharshi. This path involves a direct self-inquiry of our true nature and essence. Who am I? Not the body because it is decaying, not the mind, because the brain will decay with the body, not the personality, nor the emotions, for these also will vanish with death. Let what comes come. Let what goes go. Find out what remains. Ramana Maharshi